Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee. It's weather in five, five days in five minutes. Took a little bit of a break yesterday after the uh, snow of Saturday. And just to review uh, what the snowfalls were, uh, at least uh, from southern New England uh, across into upstate New York, we saw mostly three and four inch amounts. And uh, from Long Island to New York City to northern New Jersey, it was mostly on the order of one to three inches. And the southern edge crossed uh, central New Jersey along Route 195 and then just kind of jumped around the Pennsylvania-Maryland border. There were a few pockets here in south-central Pennsylvania that picked up uh, about two inches, while other areas got uh, mainly an inch or less, and in some corners, uh, really not uh, very much at all. Uh, further north, you could see uh, up through uh, upstate New York and New England, some of the bigger amounts. And some of this was lake effect enhanced, too, as you see uh, off the shores of Lake Ontario. And uh, the bigger winners were up in parts of Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. So no real surprise there. We have some colder weather here, as uh, you will have probably noticed, uh, heading outside uh, this morning. We've got temperatures that are down in the teens to around or just over 20, and this is going to be a cold day across much of uh, the area from northeast Virginia to southern New England. Most areas will have a tough time getting above the 30-degree mark. There will be some low 30s in South Jersey uh, down into parts of uh, Maryland and Delaware, and in, even into southernmost Pennsylvania. But everybody else will probably stay generally in the 20s, and we still have a fairly busy wind uh, going on outside. On the uh, satellite, uh, we're in a kind of a quiet state here for much of this week. Uh, we uh, have a, a high that's coming down from the north. There really isn't a whole lot happening with regards to uh, storm activity, though we are seeing some energy coming in to the west, and I think we're going to have to deal with some of that later on, uh, late this week, and particularly this coming weekend. Models seem to be zeroing in on some sort of a low that will probably develop uh, along the uh, mid-Atlantic coast, but we'll get to that in, in just a moment. The radar today is quiet. Uh, even the lake effect uh, and up, up to the north in upstate New York and into uh, uh, Pennsylvania and Ohio is fairly quiet here. So it's uh, all about the uh, stable high pressure that is moving uh, into the east. Uh, we've got uh, a, a strong high here with very cold temperatures back up through the plains and Great Lakes with readings in the uh, single digits uh, and, <clears throat> and double digits below zero in some places. So that leading edge of the cold uh, moving in right now through the Northeast and the Mid-Atlantic states. So let's take a look at uh, the Weather Prediction Center's seven-day rainfall forecast. Uh, this is liquid precipitation. And uh, this is all going to come uh, this weekend. So it's pretty interesting that here in the longer term, and this is through Monday, January 27th, a week from today, uh, every bit of an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half of liquid seems to be uh, getting uh, generated here by the forecasters at the Weather Prediction Center from southern, from much of New England all the way down uh, into Virginia and North Carolina. So that uh, at least they, they seem to be looking at this uh, system for uh, later on this week uh, and this weekend as something to keep an eye on. So uh, here's what's uh, What's going on? Just real quick, we'll uh, take a look at the uh, jet stream pattern here. And oh, I can't seem to bring up the upper air for some reason. Nope, doesn't want to do it. So let's uh, let's go back to this. All right, so let's just take a look at the surface here with regards to the uh, uh, the GFS. And uh, there you see that big high moving eastward. Now there's a storm that's going to be developing. Uh, off the southeast coast of the U.S. This is something that the GFSs have been having a real difficult time with. The other models have picked up on this and picked up on this days ago. This system is actually going to be having an impact on the one behind it, which is uh, this one right here. This is uh, the one that we're going to be watching for this coming weekend. But this low out to the east is increasing the amount of storm activity in the Atlantic. And as a result, it's slowing down the system behind it. Uh, which would otherwise probably want to rush up to the Great Lakes. Instead, it is moving across the Gulf states, and you can see that there's a primary low here that uh, heads up into uh, Kentucky, 
and then starts to redevelop in the Carolinas. And this is Saturday morning. There is some colder air that's going to try to come in from the north. There's another rebuilding eye that's going to be strengthening in Quebec. And it'll be interesting to see whether it's that cold air winds up bleeding southward. Um, some of the um, longer range models are indicating that that may very well be the case. Uh, it's going to be perhaps a close call. But we seem to be seeing the GFS catching up to the idea that there's going to be a bit of a colder look to things as we head into next weekend. I don't know whether that guarantees anything. It certainly doesn't at this stage of the game. But it does appear as if we will be dealing with some sort of, uh, of a storm system uh, at the uh, end of the week. So uh, here's how it looks. Now I was able to get the jet stream map up. But you can see it running backwards. And we'll go forward here. So uh, our uh, trough in the east bringing in the colder air, which came through yesterday. Uh, now we've got this other energy that's dropping down into the southeast. That's your Atlantic storm. And here comes your western energy that because of the way the jet stream is set up in this kind of split flow, the southern part of the jet here and the northern part of the jet not phasing with the south, it's going to want to try to keep things, um, the storm centers to our south, which of course is important because that allows cold air to come down uh, from uh, from Canada, from northeastern Canada, and point southward. So uh, something certainly that we're going to be keeping our eyes on in the coming days, and we'll see how we, we'll figure out, uh, we'll, we'll at least attempt to figure out uh, what is or isn't going to happen around here. So in the meantime, enjoy the cold weather, the cold start to the new week, with temperatures today having a tough time getting above the 30 degree mark. We'll see you tonight on the Joe and Joe Weather Show on my YouTube channel, Joe Choppy, at 7 o'clock Eastern Time. And in case you miss it, you can always watch it on the replay on uh, my YouTube channel or on the meteorologist Joe Choppy weather app. Uh, and you can download that on Google Play or on the App Store. And that is absolutely free. And it's called Meteorologist Joe Choppy, which makes it kind of easy. Have a great day, everybody.